On this episode of You Eat, we will be making a meatball loaf parmesan. This is a fun recipe to make with the family, and it tastes really awesome. Stay tuned. Spend some time with your family and watch this recipe, and make sure you watch to the end. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of You Eat. As usual, I am really excited to have you here and I appreciate all of your support. Today, I wanted to be a little creative, so we're going to be making a meatball loaf parmesan. Instead of just doing a meatball, I thought maybe we could make like a meatloaf, Italian style. We'll stuff it with some mozzarella, I made some marinara sauce, and we're also going to serve it with some rigatoni. So I'm super excited and I'm ready to make this meatball loaf parmesan. Are you ready to make some meatball loaf parmesan? Here we go. Print all our recipes on yeat.tv. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I gotta make marinara sauce. It's going to take about 30 minutes, so we're gonna put that on first. So I'm just gonna peel off some garlic. So this garlic is also for the marinara sauce, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown this garlic and then I'm gonna remove it and then I'm gonna chop it up and we're gonna put it in the meatballs. I'm gonna have some roasted garlic or sauteed garlic inside the meatballs instead of raw garlic. So we add some extra virgin olive oil for our marinara sauce. I like a lot of oil. All right, so we'll add our garlic and we're gonna brown the garlic. And while the garlic's cooking, we're going to open up our can of San Marzano tomatoes. Okay, removed all the garlic. We're gonna put some of that back in the sauce and we'll add some to the, for the meat loaf. Okay, we're gonna add some fresh black pepper to this marinara sauce. About a teaspoon. We add some salt. Some fresh basil. Now I need this basil for the, for the meatballs and for the marinara. And chop it up a little bit more to go in the meatballs. And add some fresh parsley. Try to remove the stem. And like the basil, we're going to put some parsley in the sauce and also some in the meatball. Right, I'm going to lower the sauce. I'm gonna wind up putting it in the back, but first I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a hand mixer in here and I'm gonna break it down a little bit. So we're gonna take some of these whole tomatoes and we're gonna puree them a little bit. We still wanna keep a little bit of chunk. That's my preference. You do what you like. Okay, so I have a meatloaf mix, which is uh, one third beef, one third veal, and one third pork. Uh, it's about a pound and a half of meat total. And I had about another pound uh, of just beef. So I'm just gonna add that to this mixture. You don't have to do that. You can just do about a pound and a half of the meatloaf mix. Um, but I just wanted to add that because I had it on hand. And so we're gonna add that. But before we do that, we're gonna add, now these eggs are kind of small and normally I would put two large eggs, but they're on the small side and I have a little bit of extra meat. So I'm gonna use four of the small eggs here. I'm gonna add about three ounces of water to that. Okay, so here I have two slices of white bread that I removed the crust and I cut into cubes. And we're gonna add it to the egg mixture after I beat it down a little bit. I'm gonna add this bread to the egg and we're gonna have the, we're just gonna have the bread absorb most of the, a lot of the egg and try to break the bread down a little bit. Now you can soak the, uh, the bread in some water first, but I don't use that much water and it would just absorb the water. About two minutes worth of work. Okay, so now we're gonna add some salt to this mixture. This is about, about a teaspoon. We added some salt and now some black pepper. Now we have two pounds of meat here, so we wanna make sure we have enough seasoning. I may add a little more salt. Okay, now we'll add our basil and parsley. We're going to chop up some of this garlic. We're going to put some in, the, in uh, the meatball mixture and then we're going to put some back in the sauce. So we'll chop it all up. 
This garlic would make a really good spread if you chop it up and then mix it in with some butter, like soft butter. We're gonna chop it up pretty fine. You don't wanna get a big piece of garlic in your mouth, although this is, garlic's not that bad because it's already cooked. It's got a ton of flavor in it. And it's not overwhelming like raw garlic as most of the recipes I used to use back when I was a younger chef. But you evolve, you learn different things. When you get older, you can't really handle the raw garlic as much as you did in the past. All right, so we're gonna take about half, we'll put it back in the sauce, and the other half, we'll put in the egg mixture. Some of the parsley is a little bit on the big side, and I can blend this egg and uh, bread a little bit better with this here, so I'm gonna do this. Again, you wanna make sure it's submerged. Okay, now we got a nice mixture, okay. Don't forget about our monthly contest that we will be starting once we reach 1,000 YouTube subscribers. All you need to do to qualify is to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like at least one of our videos. And as our YouTube channel grows, so will our prizes. Don't forget to click the bell and spread the word. Okay, so now this is our mixture. And we're going to add the uh, meat to it. All right, so this is about 8 ounces of Pecorino Romano cheese. I'm going to use at least half of this. And then I got a cup of breadcrumbs. I may need more. Okay, so we're just going to mix this mixture in with the meat. We want to make sure that we incorporate the veal, the pork, and the beef together. Okay, so almost at a decent consistency of where I like the meatball to be. We're going to add some breadcrumb now. Now what I like to do is I make the, I like to make a little patty and fry it up and taste it because you're not, you really can't eat raw egg or raw meat. I mean you could, I just don't want to. All right, so we're gonna move our sauce to the back of the stove. We could turn our water on for the pasta that I'm gonna make. We're gonna add some salt to the water. So what I like to do is, I like to um, add a little olive oil to the pan here. Okay, so I'm just going to make a little patty on this meatball just to get the taste. So we're we'll at to see if I need to add more salt or pepper. And a little slider. Okay, tastes pretty good. Definitely needs a little more salt. Right, so yeah, you can use parchment paper. I'm gonna use some nonstick foil. I'm just gonna lay the nonstick, you see the shiny side is the sticky side, and the dull side is the nonstick side. For the purpose of measuring, this is one cup. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to layer our sliced mozzarella in here. I'm going to fold this over, fold this over. I'm going to roll it. And like a sushi roll. I'm gonna compress it. You wanna make sure that the seam 
It's pinched very well together. Okay, we want to be extra careful when we turn these. I'm going to put the spatula in long ways like this, as opposed to like that. Okay, try to cook this loaf on all sides. Tuck it on all sides. I want to ensure that the um, the cheese doesn't leak out. It's still nice. Okay, we're gonna put these in the oven. I'm gonna set my timer for about 15 minutes, and then we'll temp it. Let's check on our meatball loaf. We're gonna go back in the oven after I add the sauce and cheese just to melt the cheese. Well, let's check the temp on these. Okay, they're good. We're going to add a little sauce to the bottom of the tray here. Okay, I'm going to grab one of these uh, meatball loaves and we're going to put it on the sauce here. Yeah, the cheese did leak out a little bit on some of these. Very hard to keep them in. It doesn't go to waste because we're going to put it on top. All right, so now we're going to take some sauce. I'm going to cover this in sauce. Make some sliced mozzarella. Top off some pecorino and mild cheese on top of that. And then we're going to just put this in the oven until the cheese melts. Maybe five minutes. And when that's melting, we're going to prepare our pasta that's going to go on the side and we're going to serve this like family style for everyone just to share. So in a saute pan, we're going to add a little sauce. We're going to add our pasta. We're just going to heat up the pasta. After your pasta is hot enough, let's shut up the flame and we'll add some Pecorino Romano cheese on top. All we have left to do is put this on the plate and eat it. We will add a little marinara sauce on top of the pasta and on top of the meatball loaf. And we'll finish it off with some fresh parsley. And we are done. Meatball loaf parmesan with rigatoni. You eat, you want to eat, make this recipe. It's delicious. So we finished our meatball loaf parmesan. I don't even know if that's a, if that's a term. I, I kind of made it up. But um, I'm going to give it a taste test. This is so delicious. You get a little bit of a different type of flavoring when you uh, but you don't cook the meatball in the sauce. And I like that. I like it both ways, but I like it this way. This is totally different and awesome. Came out so good. Anyway, you're gonna love this recipe. Your kids are gonna love it, or your grandkids, your family. You gotta make it. It's fun, it's a little challenging, but I'm sure you can do it. I have full confidence in you. Well, that wraps up this episode and recipe of the meatball loaf parmesan with the marinara sauce and rigatoni. 
I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I did enjoy eating it. I really want to thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. We will be back next week with a new recipe. And you all have a great week. And we'll see you next week. Here's an offer you shouldn't refuse. Subscribe to this channel.